everybody, my name is Lucy. I'm with the U-Haul Company and today I'm here to show you how to install a trailer hitch on a Ford Transit van. Let's get started. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. All right, what we're gonna need is a 15 millimeter socket, a five inch extension. We'll also need a, a three quarter inch socket and then we'll have our impact. Our hardware kit comes with bolts, our spacers, our washers, the nuts for them, as well as self-tapping screws. Directions to do first would be to insert each self-tapping screw to thread the holes. So what we're gonna wanna do is go halfway in using our 15 millimeter socket. And then back them out again. and then we'll back it up. And we'll repeat that process on this one, as well as on the passenger side on both sides. Now I've completed the um, threading of the four bolts for the self-tapping screws. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the two drop bolts. These are the carriage bolts with the spacers, our washers, and then we have our nuts. Our hardware kit comes with two fish wires, one for each side. We're gonna take the first one, put your spacer through, thread your carriage bolt, like so. And then we're gonna feed it through the open access frame rail here, right into that hole. Pull it through and down. Leave your fish wire on so we can position the uh, hitch in to its position without losing that bolt. And now we're gonna repeat that process on the passenger side. Run your fish wire into the back of the access of the frame rail, grab it, Just pull that right through there. Get that to drop down like that. And now we're ready to get our hitch into position. So when you're putting the hitch into position, as you can see from both sides, we're gonna have to be a little bit more gentle to this end because of the exhaust. We don't wanna knock that bolt up and struggle. So I'm gonna raise it up into position a little bit more with this awesome hitch jack that we have. Um, if you don't have the jack, You'll probably have to have a couple of friends help you hold it, um, but U-Haul has designed and made this for us to make our life a little easier. It's definitely worth it when you're doing it on your own. Get this up just enough. And now I'm gonna take the fish wire on the passenger side, pull that hitch down a little bit, put it right through that hole, and then I'm gonna slowly move the hitch back. It's on that jack again. Pop that baby down just like that. And then I'm gonna go to the driver's side and do the same thing. Grab that driver's side fish wheel or fish wire, put it through the hole, down like that. Now I'm gonna raise the hitch into position a little more. Now that I got that lined up, and that one's still lined up. I'm just gonna wrestle this just a little bit. All right, now I'm just gonna jack it up a little bit more. I'm gonna make sure both the holes for my self-tapping screws are lined up here. And both of them are lined up here, which they are. So I'm gonna put some pressure on the hitch by pushing it up against the frame so that it doesn't move out of place. With my nice jack here. Looks good. I have my two self-tapping screws that we pre-did threads for. I'm just gonna start them in here. Okay. 
And sometimes just the edge of the frame of the hitch can rub up against where you're trying to put them bolts in. So not having the hitch too tight up there so you can move it around a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my fish wire off of my rear carriage bolt. The washer has little edging on it, it's like grippers. We're gonna put it up facing the hitch. I'm gonna get that washer on there like that. I'm gonna get the nut on here. I'm just gonna make that hand tight like that. And then we're gonna go over to the passenger side and do the same thing. All right, now I'm gonna take the self-tapping screws and install them. I'm gonna remove my fish wire from my rear carriage bolt. The nice thing about it is I can stick my hand right in that open frame rail. Can't use the fish wire to do it little hands help. Make sure that's in there good. I'm gonna take the washer, remember with them grooves up, get that on there. And I'm gonna put the nut on there. I'm gonna cheat a little, I'm just gonna push down on that bolt, make life a little easier. Make sure it's locked in there. And now I'm gonna get I'm going to use the impact to get these into the frame rail. Once I get them into the frame rail, then I'm going to torque this perspex. All right, now I'm going to just get these in here, but I'm not going to tighten them down all the way because we want to torque them. We don't want to impact them tight. So it's going to be a little loud. Now we're going to go to the passenger side and make that same amount of noise. And if you notice, I didn't push all the way to where I couldn't back away. You don't want to impact them in. They need to be torqued in. So we're going to take care of that right now. And all right, so I got 75 foot-pounds this is set at. Every one of these bolts need to be at 75 foot-pounds. However, this is a three-quarter inch socket, and this is our nifty 15 millimeter. So I'm just going to start off with the 15 millimeter, get it set in there, and we're going to just listen for our clicking sound. There it is. Yep, ah, there it is. And I'll come back and do that one after I'm done doing the other two over here. Yep, ah, done. Done. Now we're gonna switch our socket. All right, so this last one was a little tough, so I was just wrestling with it. What I had to do was just pull over this exhaust and get that extension in there and that three quarter inch socket and just keep twisting on that one. If you don't have the strength to hand pull this over, you can attach a ratchet tie down, down to it and pull it. That's another way to do it on your own. And just keep pushing up on it so it doesn't come off that. And there's my snap. And now we'll go over to that side and do that last carriage bolt. Here we go. Now all the hardware is installed and the installation's complete. Now that our hitch is completed, uh, we'll be able to take our hitch jack out and just slide this baby out here. 
get that out of the way. And as you can see, nice clean install. It's flush to the bumper, which a lot of people like about that. You got your two inch receiver. This U-Haul uh, hitch comes with a welded mount for a wiring bracket, which is awesome. Um, so that prevents you from having to install them on the, uh, the plastic bumpers. People love that. Um, we have the wide holes for your uh, trailer chains. Um, and it also has your towing capacity on here of 5,000 pounds with 750 tongue weight. And there's an option for weight distribution. You can tow a you know, camper, uh, you can do a U-Haul trailer, utility trailer, bike rack, a hitch haul. Possibilities are endless with this. Um, you have the ability to lock in a ball mount with your 5 8 uh, hitch pin. Um, you, you have tons of options with a, a nice two inch receiver. So uh, thanks for watching the video and I hope I helped you learn how to install on a transit. To learn more about the products seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.